Welcome back to Free to Slay. This is Dark Seal, your host, and today we're looking at Planet Side 2. Now, I've been waiting to get into this beta for quite a while, and uh, when I finally did, you know, they, they just came out with the Alpha Pack, and I went ahead and, and picked it up because uh, I'm a sucker. It looked uh, like an awesome game. Um, so the I kept trying and trying and trying to get into um, the beta, get a key, and uh, as soon as I went ahead, pulled the trigger on the alpha pack, uh, I saw that Alienware was giving away keys. So of course, uh, within a 10 minute period, I had purchased the alpha pack and then received a free key uh, from Alienware. So. No big deal, you know, what is uh, done is done, and uh, I regret nothing. It's such an awesome game, even in beta uh, right now. There are a couple of uh, nagging bugs, uh, which I'll get into later, you know. The first thing that I wanted to really do was show you what I was most interested in before I had gotten the chance to play, and that was the certifications. Yeah, you know, I was much more interested in exactly what it was that I was going to be able to unlock in the future. Um, you know, everybody wants to know what what the skills are, and I have not seen uh, a lot of people talk about that. So that's what I'm going to show you today. So right here we got our certification points. Uh, in your profile summary, you go in there, you've got three different main classes to uh, to go into. You've got the leadership ability, the vehicles, and then the classes for your actual guy. Now, um, this is where you're going to find the spawn beacon. So if you're playing the beta, that's where you're going to initially unlock that. Uh, everything else that you're going to see that has 9999997, uh, those are all things that are not unlocked yet in the beta. Obviously, they're still working on. Um, I just want to show you, I don't want to focus on anything too specific. Uh, I just want to show you the massive amount of depth that they have to these. So, for example, here in the Galaxy, uh, which is the largest uh, kind of carrier, uh, for you know, flying carrier, You've got all these different systems to uh, to level up. Uh, how fast you can acquire them, uh, how fast they repair themselves, how quickly they start repairing. Because uh, once you get damaged, generally you have to get out and repair it. But uh, if you've got all these little skills, it'll start repairing itself and not way too long. Optics are for, for zooming in for when you uh, when everybody else is is firing so every single vehicle has that kind of of skill tree to it and then more than likely we will have its own uh, set of skills so for example in the flash you see a flash column that's all by itself and then you have the weapons uh, that you can get for the flash so it it's pretty huge it's it's pretty massive and that's what makes it so exciting, right? Like defense against mines. There's there's a whole bunch of crazy stuff. Uh, so much stuff that, you know, I would imagine when you first start out, you are really going to want to um, prioritize what you're going to be unlocking. You're, you're going to want to specialize in what you're putting these points in because there's just so many different areas that you can uh, that you can skill up even just in the vehicle alone if you're going to focus on one vehicle you know it's going to take a long time um let alone what kind of class that you you want to play on the ground now certification points do come pretty slowly uh, I haven't found out exactly how fast you acquire them, but I do know that you acquire them when uh, you can be acquiring them when you are uh, not logged in. Uh, so every time you uh, wake up in the morning and uh, want to hop on and you know and play some Planet Side, uh, you will find more certification points than when you left. Uh, and then of course you get more certification points through your activity. 
So when you are capping bases, uh, I don't know if you if it's if you get any points for kills, but you do, of course, unlock them faster while you're playing. Uh, but I haven't seen any specific numbers yet. No hard number facts. Uh, and then, of course, uh, once you've unlocked something for your guy, you go into it and you have to equip it. I haven't seen much that's just uh, passive abilities. They are abilities that you do have to go in and then equip. So there I was the engineer. I went and then I put it on. And uh, even when you unlock that uh, spawn beacon that I showed you that I, I started with originally, uh, you will have to then go into your equipment and switch out your grenade and replace it with the spawn beacon. Which is nice so that, you know, you can't do it all. You can't, uh, you know, be the, the leadership guy that's throwing down uh, your spawn beacons and start tossing grenades too. So, so we have here, uh, I currently have 36 points. I'm thinking about where I am going to spend them. And a good one that I think, at least for me personally, is to start investing in the weapon. What am I shooting with? How am I killing people? So I go with a laser dot, which is going to improve my accuracy. Uh, reflex two times sight, so when I'm aiming down sights, I can see a little further. Uh, a suppressor, always good. I'm I'm assuming that that's going to give you some some hiding on the mini map. Although I have found that I'm not really using the mini map too much. I, I try, like in most games, but uh, I do find myself a little bit, maybe a little bit in awe of just exactly how many people there are on the map at any given time. Uh, it's huge. It's just huge. So here you see, uh, once I go ahead and unlock that equipment for the gun, I went in and uh, I'm equipping everything. Now currently, one of the bugs in the beta has been something to do with your sights on guns. So here I got a little bit confused. I want to make sure that I actually had it equipped, which I do, because it wasn't appearing on my gun. Later on I go ahead and switch my class and then switch back, which does solve the problem. You can still see it's just the tiny iron sights, but easily remedied. Uh, another major thing that's, uh, that's a problem in the beta that I found is simply falling through the world when you spawn. It's very common. Everybody's, everybody knows about it. Uh, every once in a while you will spawn and you'll be halfway through the floor which ha which actually happens a lot more than the falling through the world thing you'll you'll, you'll be stuck halfway through the floor probably about 75% of the time that you spawn but uh you do immediately you know sometimes you you just fall through the world um here i'm just showing you uh, a couple of other certifications in the classes, obviously there's so much uh, there and so much that is locked up tight that you can't get at. Infiltrators got their tons of cloaking abilities. You know, Light Assault has their, their jump jets, so you, you're flying around. Uh, Combat Medic, of course, has his, his healing stuff. You do also have these universal certifications so that I guess everybody can throw down a med kit, uh, which... I think is really awesome because uh, it's one thing to have somebody there to revive you and you know everybody wants a medic around so that when we all die he can go ahead and uh, and bring you back from the grave but if anybody can equip a med kit now that that just all of a sudden got a lot a lot harder stuff just got real right if everybody can throw down a med kit see so yeah, I've got the the iron sights fixed now there. I think that's that's an awesome, awesome idea. Uh, maybe so instead of uh, equipping a grenade, or, or maybe it's, a, it's an item, 
that you, because everybody has an item slot too. I think every every class has an item slot. Maybe not a max, but maybe everybody else. So it's it's got a lot of depth to it. Now there's also a section for what's called implants. Now implants are the little extra abilities that you know maybe if you're playing Call of Duty, um, you know those those are your perks that you're equipping. So right here I have a quick draw ability. So you can swap out your weapons faster. Now th right now it says that these guys are available for 24 hours when you equip them, but uh, right now they are only active for 30 minutes. So if you are in the beta, do not be surprised that when you go ahead and equip one of these guys that the timer starts at 30 minutes instead of 24 hours. Uh, which is no big deal because the uh, Araxium, uh, the, the blue swirl points that we have right now, uh, it's, only, it's only 25 of those. I have 1800 so I'm guessing uh, it doesn't cost much. Probably these values would change later. But you see all these other implants. We've got level 1 conditioning, level 3 con conditioning, uh, transport specialists so that you can reduce your timer when you get vehicles advanced. So it's all vehicles. They've got tons of stuff to make sure they keep you in the game and keep it going, keep things quick. So the, the more you rank up, the faster it gets. And some of those higher level tiered stuff, uh, you could see, I think it said rank 25 or 28 or something. So it's, I've been in for uh, a couple of days. You know, I haven't played a, a ton, but I think I've put in plenty of hours now. And I made three different characters just to kind of check everything out. But uh, I don't have anybody who's above a level four right now. So I'm thinking level 28 is probably pretty high. So taking a look at some of the vehicles here, um, the tanks, for example, they don't have anything right now as far as choosing the way that they look. I know that the camouflage, they're, they're making it to be a, a pretty big deal, uh, making all the different stuff, um, but none of that's in here right now. One of the first things you're going to want to do is to join up with a group of guys, and I'm gonna sh I'm gonna focus a little bit on that for the the next video. But the first thing you're going to want to do is go to the social tab here, and uh, you're going to want to maybe auto join a squad, maybe check off that that ability, uh, or just uh, you can see what kind of squads are still open, have uh, openings, and just join them and hop in and you might want to be a little picky you might want to join uh, you want to, might want to create your own squad which you do have the ability to do but uh, some are much better than others communication is a huge factor you will definitely want to get a headset and and just talk to people because coordination is is key in this game and I'm going to show you a video coming up soon on uh, what not to do, basically. Why it is so important to squad up. So, uh, that's it for this episode. This is Dark Seal, and I hope you enjoyed just uh, seeing some of the certifications.